you can tell I don't get a lot of awards, so I appreciate all the nominations that happen. Any help that we can do for Fashion Week, you know we're here for. Everyone stay inspired. Carrie, you've been a, a big supporter for me, so I appreciate this. Thank you, Lamont and Gina, for everything that we've done. Thank you. All right, everyone, I am here with Hector Vasquez, and he just won Top Photographer 2015. Hector, tell me what you're thinking right now. I see the cheese on your face. <laughs> I'm truly not, I was just saying, I'm not used to being on this side of the camera, so this is like a, a great honor and privilege to be a part of Atlantic City Fashion Week's Top Photographer, or excuse me, Photographer of the Year. I'll take any award from them, whether it be just a piece of paper saying that I did a good job. Um, Working with all the models, working with the designers, it's just an amazing ride. and I see big things, you know, I'm glad to be a part of it. Awesome. Now you're going to be sticking around for the rest of the weekend, or are you going to be in the press pit? I will be in the press pit once again. You can look for me. I'm the one without the hair and the shortest one there, so. <laughs> <laughs> How many years have you done Atlantic City Fashion Week? Um, actually, uh, twice so far, um, but it doesn't matter. I mean, that must mean that your work is impeccable because after two seasons, you got top photographer. So I hope so. I mean, they, they see talent. I mean, the raw talent that's here alone um, is amazing itself. So I'm, it's, it's a privilege. It's a big honor to be um, awarded this top photographer award. I can imagine. Very nice. Tell us a little bit about some of the shoots you've done, some of the models you work with, publications. Tell us all we need to know. <laughs> um, I've actually, the first time that I shot with uh, Line of City Fashion Week, I met Phil. And um, me and Phil just kicked around, and um, during break, we came back to the pier, shot, just having fun. Um, those pictures actually have been published for him. So it's something I didn't even know about it until it was too late. Um, Sophia, I just did uh, during the Fashion Week promos. So any promos that you see with Sophia and um, myself and another photographer did those actually on the roof of the pier itself. So, um, publications, we've already gotten uh, four publications. There's billboards in Atlantic City, in Atlantic County, excuse me, right now from a radio station that have uh, publicated themselves, uh, going on six, six uh, different billboards now. Um, so we're doing big things in Atlantic City. Busy, busy, Hector. How long have you been a photographer? 14 years. Wow, that's a long time. So I would say that this is your passion, not just a hobby, yeah. It was a hobby at first. It was a hobby turned um, business, and it was the wrong hobby because it got really expensive. So I figured <laughs> if I'm going to put the money and time into it, it might as well be something good. And, you know, my mom always told me, if you, you know, do, do something you love, you'll never work a day in your life. And I truly love doing what I do. Awesome. And I guess it shows because... Again, you won Top Photographer of the Year. What's next for you? Wow. You're a big shot now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not a big shot. That's the good part about it. I try to stay very humble. Um, I'm still in the learning curve. Uh, I always try to push myself to that next level. Um, dealing with a body painter that I work with, Heather Arts. She is amazing. Um, me and her collaborate and work so much. Uh, that's going to be my next level with her, trying to get her involved in the Fashion Week to get her as a designer, body painter. So it's gonna be a little twist and I wanna show a little bit of that kind of art. Um, we do a lot of uh, support and fundraisers for Atlantic City itself. And October being my favorite month because of the breast cancer awareness, we do a lot of fundraisers for um, the, any breast cancer organization. So look out for that and look out for us because you know we're doing bigger things next year and um, we're here to rock. Sounds wonderful, and that is a, a wonderful call, so I wish you the best of luck with that. I just want to ask you for aspiring models or whoever who might want to contact you and get some shoots done, give them your contact information. Hey, they can find me on uh, www.inspirephotos.com, uh, facebook.com forward slash become inspired, and they can always uh, message me uh, on Facebook. <laughs> website or email me info and inspirephotos.com wonderful thank you so much hector and congratulations it is well deserved i look forward to seeing you for the rest of the weekend thank you so much for speaking with us i appreciate it and congratulations thank you thank you so much to the entire team of atlantic city fashion week when I met Lamont and Gina seven years ago, I knew that they were cooking up something crazy in their minds. 
and it is just so amazing to see how much ACFW has grown over the seven years. Um, they are my mentors. They are like parents to me. I absolutely love them. Um, thank you to everybody who voted, everybody who supported. Prashant, you are my rock for this one, so this is for you. Um, and just thank you to the entire team that I have for Bravora Magazine. Eight years will be in November, and I just can't wait to see what's headed in the future. So here's to an awesome ACFW this weekend. Thank you. I am standing here with the incomparable Teruja Dave, and she just won for like the 80th time. <laughs> Top journalist of the year. How are you feeling? I feel very humbled, um, very blessed, very honored. It's just an honor to be nominated, Tiffany. Really, everybody has put so much time and efforts into what it is that they do in all of their fields, whether they're a photographer, a model, a designer. So just to be nominated in its own is so great, but to have won and you know, last year was amazing because it was the first time they had the journalist category, and now two years in a row, it's it's awesome. You know, you feel like you're on cloud nine. I know, I can imagine. Now, I heard Lamont say that although this is your second year winning top journalist, you've won in a prior category. So tell us about that. So this would make three. This is my fourth award. This is four. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> he said I need to do the Michael Jordan pose. <laughs> Um, when they first initiated the ACFW awards, I won for top fashion executive. Um, last year, I won for top fashion executive again, and then they initiated the top fashion journalist. So I won in that category last year as well, and then this year for journalist again. You are on fire, my darling. <laughs> Sizzle. Okay, so I have to take one second and just talk about this ensemble you have on. You look phenomenal, beautiful. Please tell us. what. Tell us about this. Um, I met a designer by Fluke on Facebook, um, Mick, uh, Mikhil and Sita from Mock Orange. They're located in Bangalore, India. We did a photo shoot with them um, with the lovely Elizabeth Ann. And when I found out I was nominated for the awards, I reached out to them. I was like, hey, do you guys want to work together on an outfit? And they sent me these gorgeous sketches, told me about the fabrics. And I'm like, I'm honored to wear something by you guys. So they shipped it straight from India. It literally arrived like less than a week ago. My yeah. goodness. Well, they did a phenomenal job. It is a beautiful. It's heavy. It's very heavy. Indian clothes are very heavy. <laughs> they're heavy, but they're gorgeous. So I'll just pretend like they're not as heavy and try to pull it off. Yeah. So you're showing tomorrow. I am. I'm showing my second collection for Ready to Wear. I'm very nervous but excited at the same time. No, I know it's going to be gorgeous because I've seen your work. I'm actually wearing your outfits tomorrow and Saturday. So I'm excited about that. Without giving too much away, because you know we do want to wait till tomorrow, what's the concept for this year? Um, it's ready to wear with a little twist of couture, but at the same time it fuses together my Indian and American cultures and heritage. Nice. I'm so looking forward to see it. And tomorrow we'll talk a little more in depth about it because I don't want to give anything away, but I'm so excited to see it and I'm so excited to wear it. <laughs> Thank you, darling. And congratulations again. It is well, well deserved. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>bit about your collection for this year um, ready to wear and I know we were talking a little bit about your boutique mm -hmm. tell us some things about that well uh, JK fashion closet is an, a fashion outlet where you can uh, order unique custom items uh, all of our items are handcrafted and uh, this year I'll be showcasing my first men's collection oh, nice. So this is a, 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 new, a new thing for me, and I put a lot of work into these designs, and I, I know they're going to kill it. Nice. I'm so excited for you. Uh, when did you decide that you wanted to create for men as well? Well, um, 
I've, I've done accessories and a lot of times the, the, the male products were lacking and a lot of my clients were saying, Camille, when are you going to get some stuff for the guys? So I wanted to do something fresh, bold and colorful for the spring. And um, it's, it's really graphic. Um, it's a, a lot of bold statements that you'll see. So um, nice. should be very, very fun to watch. I'm excited to see it. I'll be there tomorrow. I'll be behind the scenes okay. uh, looking at some of your pieces and we'll talk about your pieces sure. then when I see you. I just want to say good luck tonight. You look stunning, honey. Thank you look you. gorgeous. <laughs> so tell them where they can reach you at, where they can, your social media and... Well, you can uh, reach me at jkfashioncloset.bigcartel. That's the website. Uh, you can also uh, Facebook me at Camille Marine um, and Instagram uh, jkfashioncloset as well. Awesome. Thank you so much. Hello. I hate my voice. Um, I just want to thank everybody here. Um, normally, you know, we want to start with uh, Lamont and Gina, but what I want to start with is Iman Rabara. I don't know where y'all are. I, I see one of y'all over there. The, the hair and makeup team really made this show what it was and made it as amazing as it was. I really want to thank them, you know, everyone who's there for that. Um, and now I want to thank you guys because, you know, they're amazing. They do great work here. You know, they've been putting this on for some time now, and it's, it really is an honor to get this. And I also want to thank my mom who couldn't make it, and my girlfriend, sitting over there. <laughs> Good evening, guys. I'm here with LeGrand, and you just won... Best couture, Top Couture? Couture Designer of the Year. Very nice. It's the same thing. Best. <laughs> it is. How are you feeling? I'm pretty great. I'm pretty happy. i um, really honored to be here and uh, be holding this. Very nice. How many seasons have you done with Atlantic City Fashion Week? Actually, I only did last February. I'm taking this season off, and I should be back next February. You must be phenomenal. You did one season, and you're top oh, couture so. designer. You're going to have to design me something. <laughs> Very nice. So what is your collection about? Let's, let's, where is your inspiration? Well, right now, I wanted to do something a lot darker than a lot of people are doing, and something, I guess a little more unique than normal. Um, so there's definitely a lot more colors than a lot of other designers. A lot of designers have, you know, one color outfits, maybe two colors, but I was doing like one one lapel, one color, or, you know, one lapel, different color, one shape, different shapes. I'm all about different shapes and different colors. So that it was really a darker looking themed. And how did you come up with that theme? Was it just something that's been boiling in you? Or? Well, well, it was just something different that a lot of other designers weren't doing. So I wanted to, you know, pretty much separate myself from the crowd. Very nice. So do you design for females and males? I am designing for females in the spring into summer. I'm probably coming out with a swimsuit line, but right now it's just males. Very nice. Okay. Well, let them know where they can contact you at. If they want to get an original piece. I will be contacting you because I need one as well. So you got to hurry up with that female line. Yeah, female line. Uh, summer. Spring. Okay. Summer. Okay. Um, if you can just find me at legrandlesure.com, and that's uh, L-E-G-R-A-N-D-L-E-S-C-U-R.com. Thank you so much. And we just want to say congratulations. It is well-deserved. We hope to see you next season. Come by. Good. Too. I think you should. You need to make a statement. I put liquor in this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Thank, you so, <laughs> Thank you so much for speaking with us.